Hi Bulldogs, good to see you. Today I want to tell you more about Soundtrap. Soundtrap is an online music editing and creation software and it has some amazing features that I want to walk you through today. So most of this video is going to be a screen recording of my computer screen and I'm going to narrate and talk you through how to use Soundtrap. Soundtrap is similar to a lot of other awesome programs out there like Pro Tools or GarageBand or Audacity, um, but I am going to walk us through Soundtrap today because there is an EDU account available and below in the description I'll let you know how you can create a Soundtrap account. It is free but you will need an email address. So below in the description of this video are the steps for setting up your account. But for now I'm going to head over to my computer and walk you through all the different features of Soundtrap. So let's get started. Okay, so we are on Soundtrap here, and I'm at the computer. Um, I am here on my profile page that I have created, and to get here, you would need to create your own profile, and to do that, you would need an email address, but it's relatively easy, and once you've done that, you would get here. So we are going to um, take a look through Soundtrap together. You can see um, that right now I don't have any projects and if you're just getting started too, you won't have any either. So let's make one and let's enter the studio. I'm gonna click here and that will take me in just a moment to two options. I could either create a new project and those sub options are to create a music project from scratch or to create a podcast or uh, first, let's take a look at some demos. So these demos will show us what we can do with Soundtrap, and then I'll show you what um, creating a new project would look like. So you can choose any of these demos and kind of see what a completed project might look like. Uh, let's look together at the prearranged trap project. So it's gonna take some time to load that, and then once it does, you'll be able to see what a completed project on Soundtrap can look like. Now, I didn't create this at all. Um, this was created um, by uh, someone at Soundtrap, and this is um, what it looks like. So we have here on the side all these different um, instruments or different tracks, and the tracks run from left to right. So moving from left to right, we have time, and up and down, we have the different instruments. Um, quickly, let's take a look through what we have here. On the bottom left-hand corner, we have the master volume, so you can change that. We have a timestamp, which will let you know where in the project you are. The red circle is the record button. Um, the square is the stop. And you'll see when I'm putting my cursor over each of these buttons, there's also the um, keyboard shortcut, and this is an important one. Um, the one that I definitely would recommend that you memorize is to use the space bar or enter as um, stop and start. So if we keep going, the triangle is play. And then we have the key, which we can kind of ignore for now. The tempo, which is gonna be how fast the project plays at. The metronome, um, we did a previous video on what metronome and tempo and BPM um, are and those um, are available here. So if the metronome is on, there'll be a steady clicking noise to kind of line everything up. And if it's off, um, then that will not sound. Then um, let's take a look at what this project sounds like. At the moment, if we press play or hit the space bar, we'll hear everything together. And it sounds like this. So right now we can hear these top two parts. Now some new parts are coming in. Now we should have a lot of parts playing. And if I want to stop, I can either hit the stop button at square or hit the space bar. Okay, so we could continue listening to that. Um, but for now, I want to show you some other things that you uh, will need to know um, for each track individually. So let's take a look at the kick low track. Uh, my cursor's on it down here, and if I wanted to solo that, I would hit the button that looks like headphones. And to solo a track means you just hear one track at a time. So if we hit the space bar to play, 
you can hear that one track individually. If I click again, we'll hear everything. In the same way, if you want to hear um, a track silenced and not play it and mute a track, the button next to the headphones, um, which has kind of a speaker and then an X, that is the mute button. So if we click that, we would hear everything play except for this one track. And I can mute multiple tracks at once. So I've muted all of the percussion instruments and we're only hearing two tracks at the moment play. Okay, so even though this is a demo, we could still make modifications to it and add our own um, tracks. So we could add a loop of our own or do multiple things. So if you do want to mess around with demos, it's a great place to get started. But Soundtrap is so much more than just that. It also allows you to create your own uh, music and projects. So let's take a look at what that would look like. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and save this project. And then it should show up in my projects. Um, the title of it is up here at the top, and I'm gonna change that to demo modification because I made a few modifications to it. Namely, I silenced a few tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that title. And if I go back to the top left-hand corner, I'll go back to the home. And yes, we'll save those changes. And back on the home screen now, you'll see that under projects, I now have a project, okay? Next, I wanna show you what it looks like to create your own project. So this time, instead of going to demos, we're gonna first enter the studio. And then this time we are going to start a project from scratch. So we wanna do new project and we're gonna do music. Okay, so this is what that will look like. So far it's an untitled song and there are no tracks. So I wanna show you what you can do to add tracks. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. First off, I wanna show you what um, you can do with loops. So there are a lot of pre-recorded loops, little sound files that you can drag and drop and create your own project. You can browse those loops by either selecting some of these filters. So let's say I wanted um, some drums that have a pop sound. So drums and pop, and now we're filtering some of these loops here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down and pick uh, this loop here, bread and butter. Let's see what it sounds like. So I'm just dragging that onto the screen and it's looped this, um, this track. Okay, I like that all right. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. Again, I could also hit the space bar. Um, you don't have to drag and drop those loops right away. You can also preview them here by again hitting the triangle, which is the play button. So this is the cha-cha drum loop. I'm not feeling that one, so I'm gonna try another one. Let's try, um, you know what? Let's get something else besides just the drums. Let's see if we can find a loop that is for strings. I'm gonna search strings, and here you'll see there are now some loops with strings. So let's try this one. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, I'll take that for now, and I'll drag that into our project. And now we have a drums loop going and some strings. Let's see what that sounds like together. I'm gonna to hit this button down here, which takes us back to the beginning of the project. And then again, hit the play buttons. Let's see what these two loops sound like together. Nice, we have our drums. I'm gonna solo that. Take that off solo. And I can solo the strings. Okay, great. So I'm happy with that. Those are the loops, and there are so many loops here that you can browse through and experiment with. Another way that you can add a new track is by clicking on the add a new track, and this time we're gonna try doing 
um, a synthesizer track. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you'll see this looks very different from the loops. Uh, instead, we have a keyboard and um, a lot of new options here. So the keyboard um, on the bottom, you can either click on the keys or you can use the keyboard shortcut that is um, printed here. So what I just clicked on was B, N, M, and comma. So if I find that on my keyboard, I could also use the keyboard to play that. Okay, in the same way, if I see up here three, four, five, I can use my keyboard to play that. Um, up here, there is the option to change the instrument and what it sounds like. So let's play three, four, five again. Hmm, very different. A new instrument. Okay, great. Um, there are also a lot of other options that you can mess around with up here and that will change what your instrument sounds like. For now, I am going to go ahead and try to record something here and um, let's see what I can lay down. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the project, hit that record button, and it will prompt me to start a recording of um, this synthesizer track. So I'm gonna hit record. Here we go. And I'm gonna hit stop. And you can now see that there is a track that has been created here and um, it's now been recorded. So let's go back and see what that sounds like. I'm gonna X out of the synthesizer and you can see all three loops and tracks um, here together. So we'll go back to the beginning and hit play and see what it sounds like. I can mute my new, uh, new track or I can solo it. And you'll see that this is currently set to a loop, so it's just gonna keep playing over and over again until I hit stop. Okay, great. So let's say I made a mistake and wanna change it. I could go into edit and I could edit the notes. And now, instead of the instrument, the kind of keyboard you'll see here now, I see the piano roll. The piano roll just kind of shows where the notes are on the piano and is um, a different way of notating music. So let's say this note here, I wasn't really happy with that. So I'm gonna move it up here and, um, or you know what, I could even delete it. So if I click delete, we'll just get rid of that note completely. Or maybe I wanna add something in um, I could click on the pencil and draw in a new note and drag it wherever I want. So we'll just go ahead and go delete that note for now and listen back to our tracks. Nice. So I deleted my note. I feel like that is now where I want it to go. I'm happy with that and I can um, close out of that. Uh, another cool thing that you could do is you could either add a new track um, or we could create a new drum track by going to the Patterns Beat Maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And here is a grid and you can use that grid to draw in. And um, I think it's easiest if I just go ahead and put in um, some things. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up here where I'm gonna solo this. So that way um, it'll be easier to hear what I'm doing. So I'm just basically drawing in here squares that I want sound for. Um, you can either do this yourself and you can make it as complicated as you want. You can change the percussion sound. Let's say I want a low tom sound down here. All right. 
happy with that. So now I'm gonna stop that track. I'm gonna go ahead and take that up here and loop that throughout. And, um, okay, so now let's go ahead and um, hear all of these tracks played together. I think maybe now it's too much drum, so I'm gonna mute the first drum track that I did. And that sounded pretty good, so I'm happy with that for now. Uh, the other cool thing about the Patterns Beats Maker, um, which again, uh, you can access here, is that you can do an auto-generate. So if you click on that, it might take a little bit of time, but, uh, when it does open up, it will generate kind of a grid that's already been created and um, is kind of fun to uh, experiment with and is a good place to start off. So once that loads, you'll see that there'll be a grid that already has some squares filled in, and here it is. So let's see what that now sounds like. We'll go ahead and just solo that. Okay, nice. So I can click generate again and it'll create a new beat. And let's do another one. And you can see it's a new pattern. So that's uh, another cool way that you can create tracks is using the patterns beats maker. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete this new track. My mistake. Um, you know what, for now we'll just go ahead and mute it and that's one way to um, not have that play. So um, the final way that I want to show you to create a new track is to use the voice and microphones and so um, you can click on that and there'll be an option here to change the microphone that you're using um, but basically uh, we will go ahead and use my microphone that I have it set up here and uh, record um, my voice. So if I listen back to what I have already. Okay, um, so maybe I will go ahead and, um, I don't know, just come up with something on the spot to record here for the vocal track. All right, so again, when I click on start recording, it'll count me down and then I will have the chance to record. Headphones, okay. All right, so let's. Oh my gosh, lots of reverb there. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that. And so now we will go on back and hear what my vocal track, the Patterns Beats Maker track, the synthesizer track, and the loop track of strings sound like together. Right. I can of course mute some of those tracks or just solo them. Now, um, the last thing that I would say to create a great project is to stop the looping. So up here on the top right, we'll turn that cycle mode off. And now I can kind of take these and arrange them by dragging them or continuing to loop them. Um, and by doing so, I don't have everything going at the same time. And so it kind of creates some variety to my project. So I'm just kind of dragging some stuff around and I'm going to go ahead and have everything play at the same time. So I'm going to unmute things. I'm going to unsolo things. Now you can see that there's some space. I've dragged these loops around. So let's see what this arrangement of my project sounds like. Da, 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 just strings da, 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 and voice. Da, 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 and now soon some percussion is going to come on in. Alright, and now we've got some more drums coming on. Lots of drums. And our synthesizer. This track ends. 
just the drums and our synth track. And that's it. So there are lots of different things that you can do. Um, this is a place where you can create using loops and you can create using the synthesizer. You can create using the patterns beat maker or using your voice. And you can use any combination of those to create an awesome project. Don't forget to save it when you're done. This one is untitled song for now. And if I go back to my homepage, you'll see that I have both the untitled song that I was just working on that I created from scratch and the demo modification that I um, started off with. So you can either start with a demo or you can start from scratch, but either way, um, I hope this video gives you some tips on how to get started using Soundtrap. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope that it helped you get an idea of what is possible on Soundtrap and there are so many different things. So I'm excited to see what you can create on your own using Soundtrap. See you next time.